Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are doing your singles new love reading for October 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Um, this reading is for those of you who are single. If you are currently in a romantic partnership of some kind, please check out interesting. Please check out the love readings that are already posted for you guys. So we have a very powerful uh, month ahead for you guys. And uh, we do have Venus in Libra all the way up until the 23rd of October. So of course, this does bring about some uh, restoration of balance in our world. Also, give us gives us some deeper um, uh, energy there to really express ourselves, our thoughts, our feelings, especially with the Venus energy, the planet of love and abundance. Okay. Um, really, I think speak your truth about what it is that you are looking for out of love, out of relationships. Um, we do have a full moon in Aries occurring on the 9th of October. This does of course highlight the end of a, a cycle for us, right? As all full moons do. And this full moon, because it does have that Aries influence, it's uh, maybe bringing in some inspiration, the energy that you need to take some action, um, but also brings in a little bit of passion and fire. Um, and of course, full moons um, always do bring out that um, extra energetic help to release, to let go, and to look to the future, to heal from our past, to leave things behind. You may even be really focused on you. Okay. Here, uh, Scorpio and, you know, really focused on what it is that you want out of love. Okay. There's a little bit of an independent energy coming in there with that Aries influence. Okay. So, um, sometimes we lose ourselves in relationships. We lose ourselves in love. And I think here that, no, I think you're really get, getting, um, into an energy where I know what I want and I'm not going to compromise on certain key aspects. Some, th some things we do need to kind of, okay, take it with a grain of salt. Does this really matter? You know, but other things, and there's super important things, parts of a person and a relationship that you're like, nope, that's kind of a deal breaker for me. Um, I'm, that's not anything I'm going to put up with. So I think that, you know, you really are understanding your true boundaries as far as relationships go. Okay, but we do, of course, have the most exciting energy for you. We've got uh, your new moon eclipse on the 25th new moon eclipse, of course, in Scorpio and your signs at a time where a lot of magical new portals are opening up for you. Um, ability to attract in new love, new connections, have those new experiences. And I feel also gain a little bit of insight as well. I think you might be finding yourself um, put back on track if you feel as though uh, you have been kind of stuck in a rut. Okay, I think you've been focused on you, focused on your personal happiness. There's a very independent kind of quality and energy to the air. But I think that things are shifting and changing for you. Now, I had to chuckle a little bit as I was pulling your cards because, of course, I did just do the Libra reading. And I clear the cards and I shuffle them a million times in between readings. It's the parts that you don't see. Libra also had the Justice card right here and the Magician right here. So you may have, um, uh, it could just be the Libra influence for the majority of the month here for you, or some of you may have Libra in your chart, or you may have a Libra in person coming in. So you might want to check out the Libra reading. Of course, you might want to check out um, your moon, moon rising and Venus sign readings as well. But the energy coming towards you, man, you're making some decisions here, okay? Now, we do have the just, the Justice card coming in. So it could be possible that you have a Libra in person coming in, someone who is honest and truthful, someone who doesn't make rash decisions. They um, have a lot of balance in their life. Balance is important to them, okay? And so you may have that kind of person um, coming in. But I also do think here that this is you getting yourself in alignment. I mean, we've got the Justice card. Card, okay, um, we also have the judgment card. So this is a big 
awakening for you. The judgment card is where something from the darkness comes to light. Now, this could just be an epiphany or revelation. Okay, this could be you might have some spiritual guidance coming in. Pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to signs, symbols, and synchronicities that are around you because the judgment card is a big one of spiritual awakening. It's where we shed our old, we shed anything that no longer serves us once and for all, and we move forward, right? We take those next steps, okay? We're ready for the next journey. So this could be you making a very important decision to finally let something go, or you might be getting those deep insights as to what has been blocking you. Something from your subconscious comes into light there, and you are really taking stock of your situation. You're seeing the truth, the ultimate truth, and this allows you to break free, to let go, to sever some ties, and to move forward. But it does take a lot of... Um, a lot of willingness, okay, to do that work and to let those things go, okay? So the judgment card can bring in, of course, uh, the energy of, you know, seeing the truth, okay? So maybe some truth does come to light. The judgment, the justice card uh, can be a legal card, okay? So there might be something here where you do get a very final resolution to some issue that's been going on, and then after that, you're free, okay? So, you know, think of those like custody battles or divorces, or maybe you get divorce papers in the mail or something, or perhaps you just finally um, put the end to an old relationship. You sever the ties in some way once and for all, all right? Um, you know, so very important decisions that may come in there for some of you, whether you're making the decision or a decision comes comes in uh, in your favor by the looks of it since we've got the um, you know some opening up energy coming in here for you but the judgment card let's face it yes it's can it can be where we find forgiveness when we find forgiveness we we don't condone anyone's past actions okay um, but we give ourselves permission we empower ourselves to no longer let something from our past affect our future. We're giving ourselves permission to let go of that old energy. It's not going to change. We're accepting what has been and we're severing that energy and we're moving forward. Okay. So, but the judgment card can, I have to say, sometimes bring in second chances. Now it could just be that you are making a decision to give yourself another chance at finding love. And you're like, no, I know I've been through some crap in the past. I know things haven't worked out in the past, but I'm ready to find that again. But considering we did just have Mercury retrograde, um, sometimes bring th brings things up from the past. Um, the full moons, the full moons can bring about things up, bring things up again. Okay, as can sometimes those eclipses. So for some of you here, you may have a very important decision to make. Do you give someone a second chance? If someone um, is coming back around, do you let bygones be bygones? Can you work out your issues? Have they grown? And if the answers to all of those questions are yes, then there might be a possibility of welcoming them back. So I feel that it's so, uh, so here that you may have a very important decision to make if that is the case for you. Is this person being honest and truthful? You will eke out that truth with that judgment card. Okay, the truth is revealed. There is no hiding from that card. Okay, no hiding from that energy. So I think there that, you know, maybe someone just wants to get something off of their chest so that you can both heal and release and move forward. But I do think there's maybe at least somebody that maybe contemplate welcoming someone back in. But I think for the most part, uh, I think you guys are all looking for the new, the blessings headed your way. We've got the alchemist and this is the magician energy. Your ability to... Um, find what you're looking for, to use your resources, to attract new love in, to manifest the love that you really deserve and that you really do um, want in your world. Whatever you are thinking about can come into reality. It's very important to be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings, especially we're always constantly manifesting in our world, whether it's 
um, whether it's uh, on purpose or just subconsciously. Okay, we're always manifesting things into our world. So when we do get the magician that comes out, it's a very powerful time for you to find what it is that you're looking for, to attract the love into your life, okay? To think you're focused on love at the moment, okay? Um, but I don't feel like you're obsessed over it, okay? Feel like here you're a little bit more accepting, um, a little bit more in the flow. Perhaps you even are in the realization that, you know what, um, I might not find love today, but I know that it is out there for me and I'm open and I'm ready to receive it, but I'm not worried, okay? I'm just kind of staying in the flow of the universe, right? It's a beautiful place to be, okay? Because when we are in the flow and when we do trust that things will naturally occur when they're meant to occur, man, oh man, it is very freeing. Okay. When we're in that energy, we are human, of course. So we do, uh, you know, we do kind of want things in the here and the now. Okay. Divine timing is not a consolation for us necessarily. We're like, well, what the hell does that mean? Okay. When everything is aligned for you, is when the magic will happen. And have you ever, um, you know, had those people in your world or heard stories of those people where they're like, I was just focused on me. I was focused on my career. First, I was obsessed over love. And when I finally gave up and changed my focus onto something different, that's when the love showed up. It's because we haven't, um, it's because we haven't created our own block. When we obsess, we create blocks, right? Because we're trying to control everything and, and that controlling energy, nothing works. Okay. So I do feel here that you're really trying to just be in the flow. You're doing what you need to do. You're setting some intentions here. You're really, um, uh, focused on, I think what you want to attract into your world. Okay. And which is very important when we get that magician out, right? Be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings. Make sure that you manifest and you set your intentions from a place of positivity and abundance, never from one of lack. Okay. So, um, you know, so instead of, um, instead of, you know, if you've been lied to before or cheated on before, when you set your intentions for love, okay, when you're thinking about new love, don't focus on, I don't want a liar, I don't want a cheater, okay, because you'll get more of that, right? And sometimes people wonder, how come I keep meeting the same people? Well, because that's what you're focused on sometimes, okay? Whereas if you focus on the keywords, forget about the negative ones, okay? Focus on, thank you, universe, I'm truly grateful for you sending me someone who is honest, someone who is trustworthy, someone who understands, um, you know, certain things about the universe, okay, whatever is important to you, right, whatever it is that you want, okay, that's where our intentions come from, okay, and then you got to feel the feels along with that, okay, but I feel here that some of you maybe get are getting a realization with the judgment card that perhaps some previous intentions that you've set to manifest love into your life, perhaps you have set some previous intentions where you have used those negative keywords and that's what you've been focusing on and I think maybe you're getting like, oh my gosh, I, you know, didn't realize that I did that. And so the judgment card coming in here is your opportunity to wipe this slate clean, to start from scratch, to start fresh. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, just ask your angels, spirits, and guides to, you know, erase your previous intentions and start fresh and start new. And that's what comes in with the Ten of Wands partially because the Ten of Wands is coming in here for you in the reverse. Okay, so when we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, there could be, number one, something that is lingering that needs to be cleared away. Okay, something preventing you from moving forward. Usually the Tens are completion or an ending leading us towards a new beginning. Okay, but in the reverse, it is usually a little bit of stuck energy or a little bit of an issue. Okay, so again, that Judgment card and the Justice card um, are really helping you out, okay, to wipe that slate clean, okay, or to release something that has been blocking you, that's been burdening you on some level. But the Ten of Wands can also be where you're revisiting something. Okay, um, where you're revisiting something and perhaps looking for that fresh start and maybe just haven't quite figured things out yet. Okay, so you're re-examining something here before you can move forward. All right, and so you might be in that energy of contemplation. But I do feel that there is a shift for you, something that you've been waiting for for quite a while. Okay, 
the Cancerian energy coming in here with the Chariot card, your advice from spirit. Get all of your ducks in a row and figure out what you want and then get ready to take some action. Get, take the steps that you're guided to take because the Chariot card comes in as, you know, your willpower, your determination, your actions lead you towards success. Your clarity of mind leads you towards success. Your destiny awaits with the chariot card. Okay, the stars are aligning for you. The chariot card is a card of destiny. Okay, you're on the right track. You're on the right path. And Spirit's giving you this encouragement. Be open to new experiences. Take, act, take the actions that you're guided to take. Okay, trust that you can find the love and that you can leave things behind and that you can embrace your future in a very positive way. The chariot card, when we get all of our ducks in a row, right, the, the black and white horses are yin and yar yang, okay, our physical meets our spiritual. When we find that balance, okay, hello, thank you, justice card, thank you, Libra energy, when we find that balance, boom, that's when things start to really shift and change for us. So spirit's really trying to give you some encouragement, believe in yourself, Okay, believe in the magic that you have within and that you're harnessing because all of these stars here, they're all coming into play. They're all lining up for you. There's something here that is you're moving towards that you are destined to experience and someone that you're destined destined to meet. Okay, and this beautiful energy of victory, success, okay, of um, moving in the right path and being in the right direction. We don't always feel like we're in alignment. We don't always feel like we're in the right place at the right time. Okay. That 10 of wands, sometimes we feel stuck or we feel like we might want to give up. Okay. And spirit is encouraging you not to stay optimistic, look to the future. Okay. Do whatever work that you are guided to do, set your intentions and then, you know, just be in the flow. Okay, because wonderful doors are opening for you here. Okay, the five of cups here, spirit says here for you, when one door closes, another one opens. Not everything will always work out your way. You might meet a connection and maybe it starts out okay, but after a few dates, you're like, oh man, this is just the same old crap every single day. Okay, but when that happens, process your emotions, but then see the potential. The five of cups is where we do have three spilt cups, but there's still two more that are full that re represent our potential, that represent our true love, our, har our harmony, our symbiotic relationship that is in our future that lays ahead for us when we focus too much on the negative and what we don't have or what we haven't worked out we can't see that potential we can't move forward so the five of cups here spirit says one you're on the path to healing and personal growth and there is something here that you need to process and that you need to let go of. And then you need to look towards the future. Okay, leave that past behind. It's dead energy. It's done and gone. Spirit also says here that, you know, you may have somebody in your world now. Okay, and again, we do have a potential return for some of you here. And, you know, there may be something here that you need to work through, that you need to hash through, right? That Five of Cups is a very depressing kind of energy, one with hurt feelings, one where there's something lingering, right? There's potential there still, okay, but there's something challenging there that's got to be worked through if there would be potential to welcome this person back. Okay. Um, but I think here that, uh, you are moving past some hurt and some grief, but it is important here, whatever your situation is to process your feelings and emotions, but don't forget that not every connection that you meet will necessarily be the one for you. They are on your path there to move you towards your destiny, to move you towards where you're meant to be. Okay, and all of those experiences are teaching us something. All those connections that don't quite work out, they're teaching us something. Okay, so Spirit just really wants you to know here that you are headed in the right direction and that there's a lot of things opening up for you. Okay, and we need to just be open to it. And I think here that you're getting that energy that you need to do that. Now, we do have the hanged man coming in here as your overall outcome for your month. However, 
I feel this is a time of transition for you in the month ahead and opening those doors and getting yourself ready and in the flow, getting yourself um, in that energy to receive. So the hanged man energy is where we do take a pause. We do have a pause in the action, okay? But we're releasing, we're surrendering, we're getting in the flow of the universe, okay? We're accepting what was, we're accepting where we are right now, and we're open to meeting new people. We're open to new experiences. We're also gaining clarity and insight when we get the hanged man. People don't like to see the hangman necessarily because it's like, well, but I'm not doing anything, I'm not moving forward. Okay. I don't feel it's the energy of being stuck though. Okay. Not with this energy coming in. We've got the nine of pentacles here too. Okay. I think this is where you are believing in yourself. The nine of pentacles is an energy of success and abundance. It's one of enjoying yourself. It's a very independent energy. Okay. It's, but it's one filled with confidence where you have, um, really worked out some kinks where you have really worked out some fears, some anxieties. You're living your best life in the nine of pentacles here and you are open and you are in the flow, okay? So I think here that you do have um, some things that are changing for you. If you felt as though you're not confident that you're going to find love or you've had those doors close in your face here, I think here that, you know, there is a lot of potential coming in here for you. And again, spirits opening you up to receive, receive the... Um, uh, opportunities that are headed your way to be open, to be awake, okay, to the potential and to the possibilities. So there is a shift and spirit says here with this chariot card, you know, that you may be feeling a little bit stuck right now, but whatever you're going through, whatever you're experiencing, there may be a pause, okay, there may be a pause, but it will be very much worth it for you. Okay, very much worth it. And sometimes patience is the key. Patience is very much the virtue. We have silver in here. We have autumn. Oh, a time of harvest for you. We have smoke. And we also have sulfur. Wow, talk about some alchemy. You've got all of uh, all of the elements of alchemy here. And we also do have autumn. So this season for you, autumn is a time of abundance and harvest. Autumn is a time when we can really harvest the fruits of our labor. Okay, all of the hard work that we're doing pays off. It's a time where we complete a cycle, where we close out old energy and we get ready to welcome in the new, right? Harvest season, right? Farmers are harvesting their crops, okay? And that's when they start to get their fields prepared for the next cycle of new things. So this is a very important transitional time for you, okay? And again, not just like what we've seen in your reading, getting closure, closing things out, letting something go, and then preparing the magician for the new to come in. The silver energy that comes in, of course, silver, uh, sulfur is all part of the alchemy, the, the magic that you're trying to get in. But the silver energy really does have to do with the moon. So again, the moon cycles in the month of October, very important for you. Okay, that full moon, as we see on the silver card, that full moon, release, let go, complete your old cycle, realize, um, you know, it's quite often emotions come to the surface, right? Things come to light sometimes in that full moon. So I think here that you are gaining insights and realizations of what it is that you need to close out, what it is you need to let go of. Okay, because that silver energy with that moon gives us that opportunity to pause and reflect. Pause, reflect, release, let go, move forward, all right? Um, so I think here that you're gaining actually some deep insights as well. And then we've got the smoke energy coming in, okay? Now, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? So we do, of course, have that Aries influence coming in here for you, igniting some passion, okay? Igniting something within you, 
right? This period of growth, of rebirth, of letting things go, of getting yourself prepared to welcome new in here. Phoenix rising from the ashes, right? We burn things down to build them up again in a very powerful, very positive way. So there could be something here, some passion ignited, okay? This opening up energy here, okay? The smoke also brings about illusion, so I think here there's something that has been a little bit uncertain or something that's been a little bit hidden. Okay, imagine looking at something through smoke, through fog. You can't quite make out something. Okay, so I think something here is coming to light. Remember we have this judgment, judgment card here. Um, something, some epiphany, a revelation, some clarity of something. Okay, something may be revealed to you out of this energy. All right, um, so really pay attention. Again, I think I already said it once already. Pay attention to all of your signs, symbols, and synchronicities because this is a really powerful time for you and a very powerful shift for you coming in, right? I mean, eclipses always are very powerful, but this is in your sign and it's all about the new. And because we've got this Venus influence here, okay, this is all about love and abundance, okay, and attracting these things to you. And you are cleansing and healing in preparation. The sulfur energy represents the soul, the uniting of your soul, your body, your mind. Sulfur, okay, if you smell sulfur, it smells like rotten eggs, right? It's a mineral. Um, sulfur can either be a little bit off-putting, it can be a warning, but it can also be healing and cleansing, right? If you think of like a mineral bath or something, right? Um, sometimes, you know, or if you go to like say hot springs, you know, natural hot springs, right? You get the beautiful mineral water, they're healing, they're cleansing, but they do kind of smell a little bit like sulfur, okay? So I think here that this is a huge cleansing of your body, your mind, your soul, your heart even, okay, and getting you in alignment so that you are ready to receive. It's a soothing energy for you, okay, um, and, you know, it might be a little bit difficult, uh, really big, big energy, big work that you're doing within, but very therapeutic, very healing, and this is really getting you in a place where you can be ready for that love, be ready to make those new connections, be ready to um, embrace the possibilities. And remember, we're getting in the flow here, okay? Um, and I think here that the Spirit's really trying to encourage you, okay, not necessarily to rush into anything, just to allow, okay, this, again, big shift that's coming in here for you guys, okay? So let's get a couple last messages out here for you guys and see what else spirit thank you has to say <laughs> okay <laughs> that was quick all right so let's have a look i'm just going to put that one over there for the moment and we have guidance coming in here this is bringing in um messages um through your crown chakra, through your um, mind's eye even, okay? So pay very close attention. Um, you're being guided, you're being protected, you're being shown the way. You're gaining a sense of clarity and direction. This is bringing in love and support for you, okay? So um, certainly on a spiritual level. Okay, so pay attention to your intuition very much at this time. Again, remember, we've got the judgment card, okay, some sort of revelation. Something comes to the surface, all right? Um, I think you're getting some signs as we go along your journey, okay? Um, don't ignore them. Oh, interesting. Have a look at this. Remember, autumn is the time of closure, a time of harvest, got a tree in the autumn card and this one here we have a tree in here as well okay so you actually might be really benefit connecting with nature to be honest it is cleansing it is grounding okay it's where we can clear our mind a little bit okay being in nature and connecting in nature is actually a form of meditation right you know someone's having a really bad day and someone says i'm going to go for a walk and clear my head it's a form of meditation right so you might really benefit connecting with nature but i think here the trees for you do represent um growth okay branching out 
meeting new people, planting roots, being feeling solid, feeling safe, feeling secure. And then that allows you to reach out and to branch out and to reach new heights um, in this energy. So I think here's a time of growth for you. Okay, and really getting in alignment um, to meet new people and to embrace um, love as it comes to you. And quite often as humans, you know, we jump from one relationship to another. We don't always take the time that we need between relationships to focus on us when there's such pressure from society to partner up, to couple up. And I think in some ways there's a little bit of a shift these days. Um, being single and loving it is uh, sometimes sparks a little bit of envy in other people who don't have that little bit of freedom. Okay, so I feel here that as much as you want and desire, okay, a new love, I also feel here, especially in this nine of pentacles, that you are on some level single and loving it as well. Okay, and if you're not right now, you may be coming into that energy where you are. And when we are in that energy, we're kind of open to pretty much anything. So it's really positive um, energy there for you. But we also have inspiration coming in here. So your ability to turn your ideas, your visions into reality, okay? If you feel here, you're feeling a little bit more alive, okay? To a little bit more inspired to do some work or to find love. Or maybe you've just got this little spark that comes in. Oh, like a spark to a flame, right? Um, you know, things start out as a spark and then we get the fire. Okay. So you may, um, you may possibly be meeting someone in the next little while that does spark something within you. Okay. Some sort of passion. Okay. Or this could just be you. All right. Really kind of ign something is ignited within you that maybe has felt a little bit dead for a while. Okay. Something that's felt a little bit lost for a while, right? Especially if there's been pain and hurt um, and heartbreak in your past, right? Sometimes we just kind of feel like nothing. And I think here in this energy, I think here that something is coming alive for you. Something really is um, shifting for you in just an incredibly positive way. We have Kanas coming in here for you as your final message. And this brings in visions, revelations. This brings in a deep insight, some knowledge. This also brings in the inspiration for you, the creativity that comes in with the magician energy. Okay, this brings in some fire and some passion. And this brings in that energy of change and transformation and feeling regenerated, re renewed in your energy. Wow. Okay. And this is one that flew out. Okay. Um, just started shuffling and boop out it popped. Okay. So again, I mean, we could have just literally pulled this one card to summarize your entire reading. All of the messages that have come out in all of your cards are summarized right here. Personal growth, transformation, regeneration. Watch for those signs, symbols, synchronicities. Pay attention to your dreams. Be open to new experiences. Live your best life. And I think there's a lot of magic that is headed your way. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for you, Scorpio. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.